Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today I present you the um, Lunar Transporter B. This is another version from our last video. Um, this one has um, like an arc here uh, in the superstructure. So the, the, the Lunar Transporter A um, was um, flat. So this has like kind of an arc um, shape to it. And the advantage is um, that you can fit uh, more volume uh, below the, the superstructure of the transporter so this uh, vehicle here is inspired by the eagle transporter of the tv uh, show space 1999 uh, show from the 70s and yeah but this looks quite different i mean it it, it works um, under the same principle as um, the eagle transporter but it has a more like industrial uh, look to it it's more like utilitarian and yeah it's um it's a nice um change i would say uh for the uh for the eagle transporter so well i this one i i just call it a lunar transporter to to distinguish it um, from the eagle transporter so I have uh, a version that resembles more the Eagle Transporter uh, back here. But as you can see, it has a lot of armor in it. Uh, so, and this one is uh, practically stripped of armor. So today I want to test this one. So it's, it's shorter. Um, it has the merge blocks closer together. And... Um, yeah, and it has uh, pistons uh, instead of uh, the regular landing gear. With um, it has magnetic plates, and here at the back we can see that um, we have um, um, nuclear reactor, a small nuclear reactor, and uh, these pistons that you see here, for example, this one, and there's an, another one at the front. They are um, elevators, basically, to have access to the ship. They are um, they are triggered by this button here, and uh, what else? So, and we have four um, cargo containers in each of the let's energy say, low. Oops, I'm low on energy. Yes, I saw that. Okay, in each of the. Um, lift thrusters that we see there like this structure here is instead of the pots but as you can see um we um have um a lot less of material it's more utilitarian of course uh, in case of a fight um yeah it's exposed your systems we have uh, also a computer back here we have um four um what's called hydrogen tanks for um gyroscopes yeah and, and in this way we get to the front part so let's go down yeah and as you can see um this is the the access to the to the cockpit here you can place uh, passenger seats. There, there are some mod that uh, has some nice passenger seats that can be arranged uh, at each side. And we have um, um, air vent here that can work as a, an airlock. And here we are in the interior of the. Um, lunar transporter we have also we are using the um, auto lcd um, mod to display all this information it's really good this mod i recommend it highly so from left to right we have the um, 
power and fuel so we are showing the batteries and hydrogen tanks um, how much energy they have or how much volume in case of hydrogen tanks um, also I keep track of the devices that are on or off and also we have uh, the controls uh, these these are like all the thrusters and and the dampeners and uh, in the last one i have damage control so uh, the damage report that this this one will display um the blocks that are damaged but only the functional blocks it doesn't display information about armor blocks okay so that's it uh, and here we have the of course the artificial horizon what I want to do in this episode is uh, I would like to go exploring uh, uh, nearby asteroids. So let's turn on all the systems here. Uh, let's uh, put this in auto and off because I had the batteries on recharge mode. And the hydrogen tanks in... Um, in stockpile so I could get all the energy so let's see and the dampeners they are uh, on as well so I like this view uh, like this if, if I can um, pilot um, a ship like this I'm happy because it's more like a simulation so I get the hot out of the way um, yeah it's, it, they have been um, well, with with certain mods you can have support so you don't have to use the the, the hot um, as often okay so let's uh, go first let's um, gain some altitude and what I want to do now um, I want to use the uh, the transporter as um, as a mother ship for the minor ship so we have to put it there and let's go for the miner ship where is it here and the miner ship i will um couple the miner ship to the to the transporter and in that way um In that way, we will use the, the, the miner to go uh, scouting for resources. And this, um, this miner right here, it has, um, it has a prospector, um, uh, this ore sensor. So we will use it for prospection. And there we go. So in this, um, oh, sorry, not that. Yeah, there we are. Everything is fine. So here we are. We we are going to take the 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 miner, the small miner, uh, to be our prospector ship. And in the meanwhile, we are going to take off now. I will um, turn off the dampeners. And I i am turning off the RCS. So we can go, um, we can just go upward. All the rest is on. Okay, let's see. I will um, go for asteroids uh, between the moon and uh, Earth. Let's turn on the dampeners. So we don't lose altitude. So 
as you've seen in other episodes, the, the, these transporters can be, um, when I have the dampeners on and I have the RCS off, they can be, um, I can change my heading like a helicopter basically using the lift thrusters by just tilting the ship. That's a nice feature. So let's see what can we find. Let's see, I need more speed here. And we will see um, if we can find, I know that there are some asteroids between um, Earth and uh, Moon. So I'm keeping the dampeners on and the and the lift thrusters on so that we don't fall um, to the moon. We don't lose um, relative altitude. So I don't have to keep um, like uh, activating the, the lift thrusters. So basically what I'm interested in is um, uh, uranium because uh, yeah we have the, the we have the uh, nuclear reactor and uh, yeah we, we don't um, uranium is only found in asteroids in space engineers. Of course, unless you have some meteorites falling, they um, sometimes bring um, they bring uh, uranium. Okay, so now we are out of the gravity, the gravity well of. Um, moon so we can turn the dampeners off and we can go faster so let's see we should find some asteroids in the way That's maximum speed. That's maximum speed. We can turn, I think we can turn the, the lift off. We don't need the lift uh, thrusters anymore. So we are only with impulse. And it's not that the impulse are, are being activated once uh, the dampeners are, are off. We are um, flying with um, basically with um, inertia. We've got some impulse and uh, yeah, we're flying on inertia right now. So let's see what can we find so by the way I can um, now I can just turn the ship whatever I want if I want to look um, around I can do it because I'm flying on inertia oh look that's an asteroid right there let's go for that one so let's um, change our heading change your heading now I turn on the RCS so we can change our heading I, 
I guess we should turn like this. I think basically we will have to because still we are which way are is the ship um, going? Okay, let's uh, turn on the um, the lift and let's do this. The dampeners are off. Let's turn them on. There we go. So this is um, almost a 90 degree uh, turn. And there is our velocity vector. Now we can turn on the... What? We have impulse, right? Impulse... Ah oh no, impulse is off. Okay, impulse on. Main RCS off. And dampeners off. There, we, we are heading for that asteroid right there. Because we have some asteroids um, nearby. Let's explore them. Dampeners are off. Let's turn on the RCS and try to to move the velocity vector down. Well, the 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 RCS thrusters are not uh, very powerful because they are these ion thrusters. They're just meant. They're not meant for impulse. But yeah, basically. getting there Okay, let's turn on all the thrusters now, the lift, and the dampeners. So we are quite close now. Let's um, have a, another approach. We have everything on, right? We're going to explore that one. That's our asteroid. Getting closer. Closer. Let's let's um, head down there. Okay. So this is our asteroid. We're 
quite close now. We should um, extend uh, the gear. Turn on the camera. Oh, it's strange the camera is not here. Where is my camera? Mm, no. Ah, oh, no. These these are from the. This is the one I need here. Okay. You. There we go. What is the... The dampeners are off. Okay, yes. Now we're approaching. So I, I just want to um, have contact with the with the with the asteroid, so it's not moving around. We can turn off everything. There. I think we touched. Yeah, they're locked. I think that's it. So let's turn off everything. Ah, by the way, I wanted here to go for the gyros. Yes, gyros. We can turn them off as well because these gyros, they consume a lot. They consume a lot of energy. And what else? the generator if we're not using it we can turn it off as well and the other thing we will add here is a reactor so we can control it from here as well and the reactor is on it cannot be right Reactor, yes, it's on. Okay, so let's turn it off. It shouldn't be on. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so everything nice. Everything is perfect. Now let's get to the. Uh, this should be on. Okay, so. Okay, so now. Now let's get to the to the minor ship and turn this on. And we'll just There we go. So let's look at it. Uh, the oh, sorry. The um, the drill here. Uh, we should have. Where is it right now? Ah, here. We have um, an ore detector right here, as you can see. So this should help us. Um, this should help us find ore course we, we we will need to have the the hot on let's see what we can find here uh, wait a second let's see something the ore detector or detector I think well the wrench is maximum it's broadcasting yes Showing hot on. No, this is the ore detector itself. No, everything is good. 
Okay, this should um, show us if any um, ore is uh, nearby. So it has a range of 50 meters, that's not much. I think for the big ship is uh, 150, I think, meters. So yeah, what we are doing now, or what we are going to... The plan here is just to, to, to go around the, the asteroid. We have to be close to the surface to have a, ch a chance of uh, detecting something. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's hard to find something. And we are looking in particular for um, uranium. And um, yeah, that's not, um, I would say, not that frequent. Sometimes you see like the what's called the uh, ore deposits uh, on the surface, depending on the material, you can see them. So the idea is to go around the asteroid and at some point we will we will find the um, the lunar transporter again. Just a round trip. Yeah. There it is. All right. with the legs extended. So as you can see, the only w one of the legs is really making it's one or two. Yeah, one leg is making contact. But that's enough. Um, I can show you how the um, the ele elevator works so if I go here I always forget that we don't have gravity now and I press this button this is what happens I will go all the way down But of course here I won't be able to to reach the ground because I'm sort of in a valley here. Yeah, but that's a nice view right there. <laughs> nice, huh? The lunar transporter mining an asteroid with earth on the background okay let's let's do another round trip and then we can go to the next asteroid i think we we don't have to take like the transporter all the way to the next asteroid I managed to fit an antenna here. That's really nice. This, by the way, this is the NASA NASA mod. This antenna is from the NASA mod. Okay, let's make another round trip. So It 
doesn't seem that there's anything here. No uh, minerals whatsoever. I guess 50 meters is not much. There's another asteroid. Oh, it has a curious shape, right? Okay, so yeah, there's nothing, nothing here. So why the other ship is a mother ship? Uh, this I have discussed before. Like, what's the definition of a, a, a mother ship um, compared to the like the how would we call it like the drone or drone ship um, in this case the miner the miner is not autonomous so for example the miner won't produce um, hydrogen so this this um, miner is uh, in that sense, uh, a, a minimalistic draw, uh, minimalistic uh, miner. It doesn't have um, generator. Uh, it doesn't generate uh, hydrogen, and uh, it doesn't generate um, oxygen either. So that's one thing. And um, the lunar transporter right there, it it's able to generate hydrogen and oxygen with um, it's equipped with a generator so and the other thing is uh, the um, the power right the batteries the batteries are um, the, the, the miner is not able to produce uh, energy uh, but here the lunar transporter is able to produce um, uh, energy through the um, nuclear reactor. So that's that's um, that's also something that makes the lunar transporter um, a mothership. Okay, so let's go to the next asteroid. I want to go to that one. Let's see what we can find there. So yeah, the, the miner depends on the mothership. So we can, of course, we can we can leave the, the, the lunar transporter in one asteroid and hop to another and another. And um, yeah, we can go as far as um, our fuel reserves allow us. That's the thing. Somewhere. I 
think this is not the closest one. But just just let let us go there. We have a, a bunch of asteroids close by. You can see the minor is is really easier to to maneuver to maneuver with, I should say. So it's not as clunky as the lunar transporter. Yeah. So here we have a bunch of asteroids. But definitely, the the best way to prospect is with a with a big um, the big ore detector. So the I don't know. It it would be better to to have um, maybe some other kind of ship. But I thought that this was just um, prepared for. Like I, I don't have any modules yet for the lunar transporter because here we are. This is a, a survival um, world. We're in survival mode here, and everything that you see, all my vessels uh, were. Yeah, I had to mine for them. I gathered the, the resources and uh, I built them. It's not like in creative that um, you just place the blocks and that's it. So I saw that the, the, I was uh, looking at um, the other day at um, ore detector mods. And there was this uh, really cool idea of having like a spectroscopy um, to to prospect um, asteroids from afar, and definitely that is um, a plausible uh, mechanism to to prospect. I mean, um, considering um, what a real life um, instrument will do. Like definitely, we could have um, some prospector that could uh, analyze asteroids from really far away. Um, yeah, but the but the prospector this is, a, is this a, a mod a spectroscopy mod, but I didn't try it out, and and I think what it does is just. Um, the prospector range is just a sphere. It's not really. It's not um, modifying the shape of the. Um, ah, by the way, I'm low on oxygen. Ah, but I have oxygen. You see, you. I have oxygen in, in my cockpit because, as I explained, uh, the the miner doesn't produce its own oxygen. So eventually you will run, run out of uh, oxygen if you're using the, the, the transport the, the miner so that's why I always have a bottle of oxygen with me so as soon as the oxygen will be low enough when it gets low enough it will It will use the the bottle to refill the oxygen in the in the cockpit. So where is my transport? Ah, here's the transporter. No, where's my transporter? I guess.
guess it's somewhere here, right? Hmm. I think I lost the signal because these signals have a certain range. Yeah, basically a good idea is to just um, mark the we should have um, what it's called I think the asteroids are that way, right? Where is the moon? The moon is here, and no, probably it's that, that direction. We should um, put a GPS on the, on the uh, GPS coordinate on the mothership otherwise we will get lost if it's not this asteroid is the other one down there That's, that's the asteroid we were in. So it's one of these, I think. I think it's that one. But we can explore this asteroid to see if there's something here. I think I see something in the surface. Hopefully, we 
will take the transport and go back to the base because I don't like the look of it. Okay, but it's not here either. I think we will have to hop to another asteroid. This is another one, but I think... I think our ship is not here. So it must be in that other asteroid. something there let's let's take a look and I um, I spotted it because I see it from here but let's make the test if um, this ore detector is working at all See like the red coloring that's probably um, iron. This is probably iron. Look at this, the, the detector doesn't work. Why? It works, um, yeah, this works. If I have the drill, it does something there. But otherwise, what's going on? Let's see. Ah, now. Yeah, look at this, it's, I have to get so close. This, um, Ore detectors, this small one, I really are, are really bad. Really bad. I don't know, should we mine this just to not lose our work here? Because I <laughs> really going hunting for definitely this is something that um, has to be improved in the game. Like this spectroscopy idea, I find it um, appealing, but I think it should be a cone, like um, King Software should... Um, should provide us with something like that. Because what I understood from the from the from this mod that I'm talking about is that uh, the person the motor couldn't uh, change the behavior of the like he he couldn't tap into this shape this um what's it called uh 
this uh, spheric shape of the of the detection area like uh, it's just a sphere around so in this case it would be 50 meters it's a 50 meter radius uh, sphere around the detector so this is very uh, small area it's, it's a really short range so it's not that useful Okay, we got some iron from a random asteroid. But iron, yeah, the iron is really easy to, to find. And now I'm basically lost. I don't know where, where my ship is. I hope the pirates didn't get to it. Look another another resource around there down there. So this is the asteroid where we came from. <laughs> the good thing is that the, the asteroid where we came from ah it could be that one. The asteroid where we came from is uh, has this odd shape, so it's really easy to identify. But now what I'm seeing here is that we have another um, another resource. Okay, let's see what is this um, resource here. It looks like nickel. Nickel, yes. That's nickel. Okay, yeah, but you, you see, <laughs> you see what I mean, right? Like, we are looking for minerals in the asteroids, and my, like, this visual um, detection is far more effective than. Um, It's far more effective than, than the instrument. This cannot be, right? Like, I see uh, clearly the, the ore from the distance. <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay, so where are we right now? So, again. Right now we are heading to this one to see if, if our um, transporter is there. And let's see, where did we came from again? We came from 
that one. We came from that one. So there's a chance. find the lander here or maybe I don't know now I'm lost ah there there it is there is the lander here okay you see that it's uh, like um, four kilometers now Is there. Yeah, so what you should do when you're doing this, um, don't rely on the antenna. So you have to mark the GPS coordinate. I thought I, I was not going to, to go that far. But look at this, like, um, yeah, the, the, the fuel consumption is um, pretty much um, efficient. So let's mark this coordinate. GPS because it's uh, yeah it's really bad and I should also rename the antenna where is the antenna Oh, well, it's the dish, right? Dish. Dish. Let's name it um, Lunar Transporter B. That's it. And let's go and look for an, this other asteroid. Let's head for this one. Yeah, so, yeah, it, it's, um, fuel consumption is efficient, so we can explore, um, several asteroids. Oh, but what did I do? I didn't mark the, the GPS, right? So let's mark this one. GPS. New from current position, and this is, uh, let's just name it. Close to transport. Yeah. So we know that this point here, at this point, we can just find the transporter is two and a half kilometers away. So that's it. I don't want to go back. So where is it? Uh, we were going to this one, right? I guess. Let's go to that one. Yeah, so um, the thing would be to have uh, some sort of, um, yeah, sp spectroscope, right? That would get uh, readings of the, like these um, uh, spectroscopy lines on the asteroids. And in that way, we could identify resources 
um, on the asteroids. I don't know how we could do that. But that would be the challenge. And it shouldn't be a sphere, it should be just like a, some sort of cone, at least. something here what is that um, that um, looks like uh, cobalt looks like cobalt magnesium this is magnesium. I thought it was cobalt. Yeah, that's magnesium. Yeah, but I find it useless. Like, yeah, we we just we're just able to to identify the resource by um, looking. Ah, there's another one. That um, again, that's um, nickel. That one is nickel. Look how close I have to come to identify the resource. No, that's not working. That's not very useful the lights they don't okay but we were in this asteroid before I guess let's do something let's let's go through this um, lava tube or whatever well I don't I don't expect to really find anything different here that's the magnesium magnesium and nickel that's it that's everything magnesium and nickel worse um, here is the Earth. Where can we go next? There was another one close by, right? We c came from there. Yes, that's the one close. We should go to that one. Oh no, that one is really close. And it won't contain anything. So, which one should we go next? That's Earth. I guess there's nothing much else to look at. Let's go to this one. There are a bunch of other asteroids. But look at that, like, like all the fuel we, we still have. We're not really... Um, yeah, we can do a lot of exploring with that, with that kind of fuel. 
also if you noticed I have in this um, in the cargo uh, this uh, again the auto LCD um, mod um, I'm showing here the fuel and power and in that in that other screen in the, at the right side it's um, the containers how much um, how much cargo they have they're full uh, to 100% these are two medium um, sized uh, cargo containers so this is very useful because um, when I'm mining with a with a miner um, I before I had to always look at the like open the inventory and see how how much cargo um, was in the in the containers now I can just look at the screen and see how much there is this is a very very useful mod it should be part of the game definitely and there are so many things that can be displayed with, uh, with this mod Okay, this seems to be a pretty big asteroid. So if I find, um, if I would find uh, uranium in one of these, I would just mark it and go back to the mothership, unload the ore. I should have done that before, right? I can just unload the ore and come back and, and mine. So may, uh, maybe you're interested in not only if you're interested in like in a mining mission, then probably the best is to include a um, refinery with uh, in your expedition like uh, as part of uh, the cargo in the like a module, right? A refining module in the in the transporter. Okay, we're getting close now. But I don't see anything. I don't see anything so far. We have to be so close. Visual inspection is is our best bet. Incredible. I don't even remember how uranium looks like. By the way, let's turn on the lights because otherwise it's difficult. Is there something here? It doesn't look like. So it doesn't seem to contain anything so far, but it's a huge asteroid, so I would expect that there's something somewhere. What kind of technology is this? 
we don't have good good detectors in this um, in this uh, universe or this timeline I don't know what is that there seems to be something there what is that nothing no it's just okay nothing of value okay so this asteroid so far hasn't been useful or valuable Yep, nothing. There's an unknown signal right there. No, basically there's nothing. Well, the, 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 the structures are really interesting. I think it, they did a good job with these asteroids. How they, they look, all these textures, these random shapes. So, let's go to the other one. What was the other one? It was a really bright one. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, that one. Let's go to that one. It's a pity. So so big and it didn't have anything. Yeah. So you can spend a lot of time just. Uh, and, sp and specifically uranium because all these other ores you find in, uh, in the moon or on earth but uranium is only in asteroids how much my oxygen by the way a three percent oh that's not good and now i'm on 95 whoops i need to return to the to the transporter asap because otherwise i may die That was close. <laughs> I almost crashed the ship. Okay, no, but I need to return to the to the to the transporter. Okay, I think that will do it. Like the the limiting factor was the oxygen. Now, let's go there.
the the transporter doesn't have um, survival um, kit by the way it doesn't have it so um, I'm not able to um, heal myself or to um, refine um, stone or anything so yeah that it's it's a, a basic very basic um, design it adds uh, some mothership in the sense that it produces energy from um, uranium and um, it um, it produces um, it's able to produce hydrogen and oxygen from um, ice So I'm lucky that I, I was I was able to realize that um, I was running out of oxygen. I wonder if with auto LCD we could display oxygen levels. I will just display it with the fuel and power because it's such a limiting factor um, I guess the transporter is in that asteroid here right? this one? probably because I know that it's uh, some distance away yeah I guess so so let's um, let's change the course. Because I'm quite sure that the transporter is in this direction. percent of oxygen let's see what happens because well probably the hopefully the generator has some oxygen in it I mean the generator from the Transporter. decided to paint it in like this industrial colors I don't know guys what do you think you can leave a comment down below what do you think about the colors <laughs> I usually paint everything in, in in white oops So this is the camera at the top of the of the miner. As you can see, I don't like using like this 
third person view because yeah, it's, this one is more like a simulation yeah there we go so as you can see the oxygen oh not that one The oxygen is not really um, refilled, so yeah, I will have to go outside. I will have to see if, when we get to the to the to the cockpit of the transporter, we will have enough um, oxygen. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise I have to run to the base. Nope. Not enough. Ah, but I have the um, generator off. Let me see. No, this doesn't. 66. Nope. This doesn't make things better. So I will basically run to the base. So let's do that. Let's turn everything on. Let's unlock and let's go back to the base. Ah, I have the gyros off. Where is the lunar base? That's the earth. And there let's go there that's um, moon base alpha right there Still going like sideways. Let's turn around. Yeah, we are we are good. This is a good direction. I mean, everything is full, but but the oxygen, oxygen is really. Um, 
Ah, uh, here at the cockpit I don't have um, oxygen, it's just in the... 52%, only in the, in the minor I have oxygen. Okay guys, so this uh, has become um, a fight for sol survival right now. We really need to go down. Down and... Down and right. Down and right. We're getting close now. There, now we're pointing. oxygen here okay where is the base here that's the base so now that it's stopped we can just there we go Okay, I think we're, we're going to make it, most probably. The thing is not to crash the, the land, the, the transport. And I hope everything is fine with the ship, yes, there it is. No problem there. Yeah, so next time in our checklist, we have to include oxygen bottles. Because this ship is so big, right? It doesn't, it can generate oxygen, but, um, but yeah, if, um, it doesn't have really oxygen tanks, only hydrogen. That's, uh, shortcoming there or it's not a shortcoming it's by design because it's uh, since it has a generator um, it can always produce oxygen but um, yeah you have to be careful with uh, 
with where do you keep the oxygen so the answer is I think we are subject to gravity. Let's align with gravity and look at the camera. We can just let it fall. to park it where, where it was careful here with antenna there's a big antenna there I will park it like this because Okay, so we need to need to get the, the the miner out of the way oh look at the oxygen but never mind we're, we're already there we have to get the the miner out it and already we will receive oxygen here done there we are full on oxygen oh it was parked there a little bit strange okay never mind let's park this um, guy here oh I forgot I had the <laughs> I totally forgot the what is it called the the gear the landing gear the pistons Yeah, there we go. We don't want that. So now uh, let's look at this camera here. It's better this angle because this is the the camera from the this is the the load camera. Like I have a camera in the superstructure just beside the okay is it done i think it's not really making contact is it ah yes it is it is but for some reason i think it's too much weight or, or I think I have to turn off these things. Everything is on, right? There we go. Now everything is off. 
Well, it's, it seems that it's a lot of weight. Okay. This is there's something damaged now. There's nothing damaged, but look at the at the sparks. <laughs> For some reason, it's okay. But there you go. I think everything is fine. It's a bit shaky. Well, we could just um, no. Let's leave it like that. For the moment. Well, this is not its um, its uh, final resting place. Like this is just um, just a temporary uh, place to to keep it. It only has like this connector right there. Is this damaged? No. Everything is good. Okay, guys. So I th I guess this this is the end of the episode. Um. Hope you like it and um, hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.